Anthony, I would like to wrap this up one more time because you brought up the uh, cosmic, and we discussed yes. that a little bit. Uh, I'm a little bit lost here. Tell us, because if I do recall, the uh, design of the study is uh, combination versus single agent Cabo versus single agent Surafnib. Tell us a little bit, if you can maybe dissect that a little bit further. Sure. So uh, at the time this trial was designed, Surafnib was the standard first line Fair. therapy. So that's the control arm. Sure. Cabozanib is another multi-targeted kin tyrosine kinase inhibitor with some unique targets. So in addition to targeting the VEGF axis, uh, it targets uh, MET, which is the uh, receptor to hepatocyte growth factor. It targets Axel, it targets MER. And there is actually very nice uh, preclinical scientific evidence about that having immunomodulatory effects. So it provides strong rationale to combining it with atezolizumab. And then there is an arm exploring cabozatinib as a single agent to separate whether you know, the combination is really providing additive or at least additive or maybe synergistic effect versus cabozatinib alone. So that's the, that's the idea of the three-arm trial. Yeah, I admit that the uh, quote-unquote potential uh, confusion that we might have and understand that uh, 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 that study is because CABO is more understood as a second-line therapy and now we're hearing as being in a first-line setting with the CABO at ESO versus CABO. But I think uh, Dr. al Kuwari explained it to us very clearly that after all, it's just really understand what the contribution of the Cabo a single agent compared to the Atizu Cabo. But uh, I would say this is a very exciting field. I would say that none of us can really uh, say where this is going to take us. Uh, as we can see, the data is evolve evolving very quick, and we have many critical trials are yet to be uh, reported in regard to first-line therapy. Uh, and if anything, at the moment, we have the atizubev, as we heard, and we kind of summarized that data for you. But of course, we're waiting still for the uh, Pembro uh, plus lenvatinib. We're waiting for the uh, uh, atizo plus cabozantinib. We're waiting for the dorvalumab plus tramilumab. We're hoping combination also with rigorafenib. There's, there's a lot of them. And I have to say, we just have to wait and see the data. If anything, it's good news that we are having that wealth of information.